This is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special, special guest today is a talented singer-songwriter from Italy. He goes by the name of Erie. Mr. Erie, how you doing today, sir? Yo, hi, Todd. Nice to meet you in person. Uh, I'm fine, really fine. And you? How are I'm, you? I'm good. I'm good. Welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you. Thank you, you, for uh, the opportunity to be a part of uh, your podcast. Not it's a uh, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you, man. I uh, I must admit we've been uh, we've been trying to schedule this interview with you for what would you say maybe <laughs> a couple months, and we just keep we kept missing each other. So thank you. At the time we're recording, it's uh, Sunday morning here, and I guess it's Sunday evening over in Italy, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you made it's uh, seven o'clock in here. Seven, <laughs> 7 p.m. o'clock. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you made the time. I appreciate it. Um, so let's get into um, let's get into some information about you. Um, you sent me your latest single called "Walking in My Mind," which I yes. love, by the way. And um, we're going to get into all of that uh, in a little bit. But before we do, uh, tell us a little bit about Erie. Yes, uh, I introduce myself. Uh, my name is Enrico, aka Erie. Uh, spelling E-R-R-E. I'm uh, 28 uh, years old uh, and I'm a disc jockey and producer from Italy. I play turntable since uh, 2015. I attended the uh, breakdance battle, warm up, uh, residence in a local bars, uh, lo entertainment local in my hometown, Brescia, a uh, city near Milan, northern Italy to be precise. Uh, the passion from vinyls came from to the hip hop culture, basically. I listened to rap uh, from when I was uh, 12, 13 years old. But uh, growing up, uh, I listened to various uh, black music and uh, from soul classic, okay, to funk, R&B, disco funk, house. But uh, my favorites are uh, soul and new soul. And um, I really love musicians like uh, Masego, uh, Georgia Smith, Summer Walker, uh, Don Toliver, Daniel Caesar. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> I have been to his concert in uh, 2019 in Milan before uh, COVID-19 outbreak. He is an uh, amazing voice. Uh, it's incredible. And um, in 2016, I started to study piano. And uh, I learned the music theory and uh, all the necessary to become a producer and uh, a musician. And uh, also, I am uh, a resident with uh, five other DJs in a hometown event called uh, Milkshake. And uh, if you ever go to Italy, Todd, you will be a special guest, of course. <laughs> and um, I, start, uh, I started to produce uh, my music in, um, in 2019. And uh, my first single uh, was uh, Walking in the Night. Um, I released this uh, single uh, with um, other musicians, my friends. And, um, and uh, on this February, I, I released uh, the second single, Walking in My Mind, uh, featuring Carolina, uh, a singer and a songwriter, uh, also to come from to my, um, my hometown, Russia. And... Um, uh, the EP, okay, um, will be um, composed by four tracks, and um, it, uh, it will be called a walking project, okay, because um, I like walking very much, most of uh, all with the music in the ears, I relax and uh, this enables me to dream. And uh, 
I, I, I choose a, choose a walking project to cold his uh, hippie. Okay. Uh, release date is uh, for a scene for uh, this year, for um, 2021. Okay. Let's, uh, let's back up a little bit, Erie. Uh, now, did you come from a, uh, a musical family? Is your family involved in music? Or how did you get, how did you get so immersed in, uh, in music? Um, no, my family um, can play any instruments. Uh, no, are not a musician. Uh, my passion come from, um, I don't know, um, maybe I am very curious person. And um, I, uh, I watched the MTV, <laughs> MTV raps uh, and musical event, uh, the first uh, video on YouTube. Maybe, yes, this is the, <laughs> my, um, my rapport with music, yes. Okay. Um, now, are you a independent artist? Are you signed to a label or how does that work? For a moment, I am an independent, independent artist and um, label, I don't know. For a producer, um, maybe it's not necessarily a label. For, okay. a, for, a, for a future tour with other musicians, maybe yes. But for now, at the, um, today, is, um, it's very simple to release music uh, on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, so I'm an independent for now, yes. Okay. Um, let, me, uh, let me ask you a question that you just um, you sort of talked about a little bit. You said that um, you're part of a, did you say you were part of a, a DJing group? Yes. Okay, how, how does that work? What is that exactly? Um, uh, one time a month, we play in the, in the same local, okay, in, in Brescia, and uh, we play all uh, black music, uh, to disco, funk, every, and um, in console, uh, there are uh, three, five DJs a time, with the turntables, uh, um, drum machine, and also we get, yes, a party, a, a, a hip hop party. Okay. You guys all play at the, you guys all play at different times or you guys all play at the same time? I'm just trying to understand how five DJs. It depends. Maybe um, one uh, used a turntable for a scratching the song who play other DJ. So yes, then there is a moment to play one person and a moment to play two or three person. Mm. Okay, you guys said you, you said you guys do this once a month? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I've never heard of that, um, but um, it sounds interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> now, yeah, so you said you're from a, a small town, um, near Milan called, I think you said Bergia, Persia? Brescia, yes. Brescia, Brescia, sorry about that. Um, no problem. All right, and so uh, American music, uh, soul, hip hop, that's all very, um, um, very big or influential in Italy? Yes, at the, at the moment, yes. Trap music and hip hop music, yes, are, uh, mm, it's the new pop, hip hop, it's the new pop in Italy in, in this moment. Um, 10 years ago, no, 10 years ago, uh, rap is a uh, rap hip hop, uh, soul music, uh, the funk music, uh, all um, underground, uh, uh, underground music. Uh, at today is, um, yes, it's the top of the chart uh, and in Italy, yes. Okay. And there are uh, many collaborations with the famous Italian artists and American artists. Yes. Uh, uh, did you know Sfera Basta? No, never heard of him. Uh, it's um, the biggest rap in, rapper in Italy and uh, who collaborates with um, Migos, mm. uh, Future, uh, Diplo, and uh, many other musicians. Yes. Okay. All right. Um... That's good to know. So, um, 
American music has sort of become mainstream over in Italy, huh? Yes, mainstream. Okay. Um, okay, so let's talk about your latest um, single, Walking yes. In the Mind, which I love, by the way, sort of slow and melodic. Um, the singer who's singing, her name is Carolina or Caroline? Carolina, yes, Carolina, yes. Okay. And is she from Italy too? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Um, also from Brescia. Brescia. Okay. So she's from. So you guys had a relationship before. Um, she sang on your on your song. Yes. Yes. Uh, we are friends from uh, many years. Yes. Okay. Is we, she? Your, we are. Um, does she have music? Uh, does she have music out too, or this is her first collab? Uh, with Carolina, it's the first collab. But um, in the past, uh, we play a concert uh, um, ensemble, okay, with our musician and with other musicians. So yes, we are uh, friends and uh, <laughs> and uh, music and musician. Yes, yes. Okay, so you said that um, walking in my mind is is uh, part of a uh, a project, which you said will be released um, called The Walking Project, uh, which will yes. be released later on this year. Um, what's the, uh, explain again what the concept of The Walking is, because it's like Walking in My Mind, The Walking Project. And I believe you said your first release was called Walking something else. Uh, well, yes, uh, uh, my first single uh, um, was called uh, Walking in the Night. Walking in the Night. Because because uh, I love walking in the night uh, with the, in the silence and um, made me the opportunity to think about um, all, yes. It's a, um, a moment for me, a moment of um, a relax. And uh, walking in my mind uh, maybe is for um, a walking uh, crossroad in the crossroads of our mind. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a concept. Okay. okay, and uh, and for example, uh, um, the next uh, the next song uh, um, will be calling uh, "Walking in the Morning." So uh, there is another mood, another um, approach to the music and um, to life. Yes. Okay. So are all the all the singles? It might seem like an obvious question, but all the singles on your EP will have the the word "walking." In each, uh, in each title? Yes. Okay, great. All the four tracks, yes. Four tracks, okay, so there's four tracks, you've released two, and then the other two are coming out when you release the EP, or are you gonna release those individually as well? I released the other song with the, the EP, yes. Okay, uh, and do you have any dates on when those are gonna be released? Uh, for, for now, not. I think, okay. uh, mm, the next summer, yeah. Okay. Good. July, maybe. June, okay. July. All right. I'm just curious. Um, here in the U.S., um, things are starting to open back up slowly. Uh, of the uh, because of COVID. What's it like over in Italy? Is it is it shut down as well, or what's it like? Uh, uh, COVID nineteen. It's a real social problem. <laughs> Because uh, mm, many people uh, stopped working in um, music work, artwork, and in the culture, and uh, stopped working since a year. And uh, restart date in Italy are uncertain. Uh, it's a problem. And uh, what is the situation like uh, in America? We'll continue our episode after this message. Are you looking for a reliable way to transfer money to family and friends? Check out the Cash App. It's safe, easy, and convenient. Just download the app from the Apple or Google Play Store and start receiving and sending money in a few minutes. Sign up today and receive $5. And don't forget to use our referral code. VGRCWQX. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com Now, back to our conversation. Well, um, performances are still a no-go. Um, it's just starting to get around to opening up, um, you know, the restaurants and uh, schools are starting to open back up slowly. So it's a slow process. Um, 
when they'll be um, allow crowds into sporting events and concerts, that's uh, we're unsure about that now, but I'm going to assume it's going to happen at some point. But right now it's pretty much, um, everything's kind of like on, well, I wouldn't say pause because things are starting to open up, but it's, um, it's a little slow. It's a little slow. And I think people are starting to get a little frustrated behind it, but you know, I mean, what's the alternative? Everyone gets sick and get this virus. So, you know, got to do what you got to do. Right. Yeah. Slow is the keywords slowly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, um, what do you think about the music industry now and how um, it will be after the outbreak? At the moment, podcasts um, like your uh, online meetings are the stage for the musicians. And for you, this practice uh, will be maintained in the future. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We're at, um, you know, we started this before COVID. And so we, we hope to continue along, continue along right after COVID. Um, yeah, um, musically, it's kind of tough for musicians because this is right around the time they start to get ready for, you know, the summer tours and, and, and that kind of thing. And that's sort of on pause. So, um, you know, there's other, I mean, you have to kind of like find different ways to keep your name out there. A lot of people are doing the, uh, the, uh, the Instagram live and the Facebook lives and doing concerts that way. Um, some are not, but you know, some are, um, so hopefully, you know, Hopefully this year sometime things will sort of get back to normal. Um, yeah, I know I miss I miss concerts, you know, so uh, and live sporting events. But um, I understand that we're in a global pandemic, too. So, um, you know, you kind of have to sacrifice. But, yeah, I do feel for particularly independent musicians who, um, you know, this is their living and they may not um, get all the airplay. Uh, or any airplay at all. Um, so I do feel for them that they can't get out and support their music uh, through live performances. But um, hopefully that'll change, you know, sometime this year or hopefully this year. So we'll see, you know, we'll see. So this is your first, let's, let's pick it back. Let's go back to your music. This is your first um, EP that's coming out or is this? Yes, yes. Um, it is the first EP, yes. Okay. And did you produce it all yourself or did you, you work with others or how did that work? I produce, uh, mm, yes, I produce myself, but uh, mm, maybe mm, many instruments are played um, with uh, other musicians. Uh, for example, um, in this track, uh, I play um, uh, synthetic drums but uh, the piano is real. And uh, in the first single, Walking in the Night, uh, uh, there is a uh, real drums, uh, synthetic drums, uh, a saxophone, but uh, maybe there are uh, all other uh, virtual instruments, yeah. Uh, a mixing feelings for uh, um, past music and uh, present music. Okay. Um, the... The other two singles that you're going to release um, later on this year, are those on the same line as Walking In My Mind, that sort of slow, melodic uh, tempo? Um, are those pretty much the, the, are they similar, I guess is what I'm asking. Um, yes, maybe it's uh, the um, um, Neo Soul uh, music, Neo Soul uh, uh, like, uh, Georgia Smith, uh, like uh, Summer Walker, it's a mix uh, from trap music and soul music. So the drum, the drums uh, is really slow, okay. But uh, for example, the Charleston is uh, very fast, and um, there are um, yeah, okay, four, four three, four uh, chords, yes. Okay, uh, another question for you. Um... Now you are over in Italy, as we discussed earlier, um, and you're doing this this English um, EP. Um, do you do uh, music in your native tongue of uh, Italian? 
Um, yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> I um, I haven't listened um, English music, rap music, American music. So um, do music in Italian for me? It's uh, I don't know. It's strange <laughs> because I list I don't listen Italian music basically. Okay. So I um, I ask to to singer to to sing in English. Okay. Um, so is, um, so is, um, is there a, an Italian version of hip hop or so, you know what I mean? Is there, um, sort of the same genre, but just in Italian? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, there are, um, many example of, uh, yes, of soul, uh, of Italy, Italian soul. And this year, a um, um, famous producer in Italy called Mace uh, released um, an, uh, an album with uh, a soul Italian artist. A first time, it's a um, news, and uh, I really ap appreciated uh, this, uh, this album, it's credible. Um, uh, it's called uh, Out of Body. And there are, uh, yeah, very good, good musicians. But uh, it's a um, 2021 album. Before, uh, I don't know, there are uh, no example of uh, soul music in an in Italian way. Okay. Um, now, uh, Eri, what, um, what do you hope people get out of your music? I, uh, sorry, can you repeat, please? Yeah, what do you hope people get out of your music? People who uh, want to learn more about Erie, what do you hope that they take away from, from your music? Ah, yes. Um, for me, music is a, um, it's a very passion way to, to, describe, um, to describe a reality. So... I, um, I hope um, the people who listen my song, maybe when it's walking, <laughs> um, have the, um, I'm an emotional process, an emotional process and uh, yeah, a relaxed moment. Okay. And uh, in, this, in this time, in this period, uh, it's very important. Okay. So there's, the soul music uh, have uh, this power. For me, have this power. Okay. Now you uh, let's go back a little bit. You said that. Um, did you say that? Who were some of your uh, soul influences um, growing up? I think you you mentioned a few. Um, who were some of the Who were some of the people that you um, that you listened to or admired? Um, yes. Um, maybe. Oh, there are many, many artists I listen uh, <laughs> very, very much music a day. So my favorites are, um, yeah, contemporary are Georgia Smith, Masego, and Don Oliver. Uh, did you know it? No. Uh, Don Oliver is a um, soul, uh, soul and a trap soul artist. Uh, from uh, Cactus Jack Records, um, Travis Scott's label. Mm. And um, he released uh, um, uh, last year a uh, LP, is a Heaven Horror Hell, it's cool. Um, very, very good voice, uh, uh, yeah, very, very soulful. <laughs> and uh, the classic, I listen to uh, Marvin Gaye, mm. for example. Yeah, for, uh, the, the classic, yes. Okay. That's a good choice. Um, <laughs> okay, so where, um, how can people reach out to you on uh, social media, Yuri? Yes, um, for music, I use um, Instagram. My nickname is uh, Erri on Trip, uh, spelling E R R E O N T R E P, Erri on Trip. And then the same nickname is for uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook. And then um, for uh, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Deezer, Amazon, uh, simply Erri, E-R-R-E. Okay. And we'll have links to all of Erie's uh, social media uh, contacts 
on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com and also in the uh, show notes of this uh, interview. Okay, Erie, um, anything else you want to add before we uh, cut this interview loose? I know it's getting kind of late over in Italy. <laughs> yes. Anything else you want to add before we, uh, before we go? Um, what is your favorite musician, Todd? Ooh, ah, that's tough, man. Um, if I had to say favorite male singer, I would have to say Luther Vandross. Um, okay. Favorite female singer, probably Aretha Franklin. Favorite band, it would be Parliament Funkadelic. Classic. Yeah. Luther Vandross followed by Stevie Wonder. So, um, but yeah, I I love Luther's music. Um, So those are my, I had to break it down. I couldn't give you just overall, but yeah. So male, female, and band, those are the ones. And uh, another question, how do you see your website, bring back to soul music? Uh, in the next uh, five or 10 years? Mm, good question. Um, I hope that we are just making people aware uh, the, um, the, uh, that soul music is still out there and should be relevant. Um, and so we just kind of have to grow on that. Um, music is so, um, I would say segmented right now, you know, it's, you know, it's pop and then there's hip hop. And um, those are really the only two genres I really hear about. Um, and so, you know, we just got to kind of keep the word out, interview artists like yourself who are putting out great music and um, make people aware of it. Um, before I started this podcast, um, a lot of the music, I didn't know all this music was out there. And so, um, if I don't know if it's out there, and I'm sure other people are feeling the same way, that where can you find good R&B soul music? And so that was one of the, that was the intention of the website and also the podcast to bring uh, independent artists or give them some platform to tell their story and expose others to their music. So hopefully we'll continue to keep, well, hopefully we'll continue to do that and um, make more people aware and that uh, this is a great, uh, genre of music, not to say that others aren't, but um, to let, make people aware that this music type of music still exists. So that's the goal. Um, so, it's important. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> an important mission. <laughs> right. And yes. hopefully in 10 years, we won't have to say, you know, the music still exists. People will know that it exists. You know what I mean? So. Hopefully by that time, people are aware that there's some great music out there and who knows with technology. I mean, it's, it's, um, people may be aware of it just, um, organically, uh, without our help, you know what I mean? So, um, we'll see, we'll see, hopefully, um, hopefully, um, we can bring it back, so to speak, no pun intended. Bring back for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to uh, add, Erie? Well, for uh, for me, it's okay, Todd. It's an um, amazing interview, and uh, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity. And uh, text me when you pass in Italy. All right. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm gonna hold you to that. Of course. <laughs> All right, Erie. I'm glad you came. Up. Uh, we were able to get this interview in. I've been like I said, we've been trying for months. It seems like. Uh, so thank you for taking the time and I really appreciate it and uh, keep us posted on all your music man we'll uh, we'll profile it and uh, make people aware of it in a social network yes okay of so course we'll, uh, we'll do our part too and like I said we'll have a profile on Erie on our website that runs uh, for a week and that's Erie all the way from Italy on the Bring Back Soul Music podcast and we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. 
Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Erie. You can find out more about Erie on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Check out all our latest merch at the Soul Shop at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.